Good morning, Lakeside. Today is Friday, March 4th. We have a few birthdays to celebrate this weekend. Today is Sunishka Pathalam in 5C and Eileen Zhang in 1A. Tomorrow is Isaac Kipps in 5C and Sunday is Noemi Pond in 4B. Happy, happy birthday to you all. Come on down to the office for your birthday treat. We also have our Longhorns of the Week to celebrate today. And EC1 is Indrish Maji. Um, PK1 is Brihat Amaranath. Um, EC3 is Jaden Chen. PK3 is Namami Bakshi. PK4 is Moise Shahid. Um, PK5 is Adharv Agarwal. K1 is Aiden Yang. K2 is Ashley Yang. K3, Henry Cox. 1A, um, Augustus Brockseeker. 1B is Olivia Lang. 1C is Calvin Hager. 2A, Amy Joseph. 2B is Om Kadam. 2C is Pranav Sankar. 2D, Simran Aurora. London Nottingham in 3A. 3B is Bennett Zhang. 3C is Jackson Tainter. Emma Elmer in 3D. 4A is Kira Shiragopi, 4B is Kai Shen, 4C is Zishan Ahmed, Evan Marks in 5A, Rishi Bapna in 5B, and 5C is Walid Badi. Um, thank you Longhorns on being accountable this last week. Um, as we continue talking about cooperation this nine weeks, our focus next week is going to be courteousness. Courteousness or being courteous or showing courtesy is using polite manners. A courteous person is respectful and considerate of others. You can be courteous by saying please, thank you, and excuse me. These small words can have a lot of power and go a long way to showing others that you are kind and thoughtful. Showing courtesy is a great way to cooperate and work with others. No one wants to be bossed around when they're working with someone. So asking courteously for what you need or want will work in your favor. Our self-care strategy this week is, or next week, is turtle breathing. To practice turtle breathing, you will just pretend like you are a turtle with that shell on your back. As you inhale, you'll pull your body into your shell. And then when you exhale, you can stick your arms and legs and your head back out of your shell. Um, it feels a little funny to compress your body while you breathe in, since when we breathe in, we want to take those deep belly breaths that expand our lungs. Um, but if we think about why we use a coping strategy as being when we're feeling anxious or upset about something, those are times when we tend to compress in and want to pull in and protect ourselves in that way. So we can take that big deep breath in and then when we exhale, we start to feel a little better. So it helps us feel like relaxed and confident and like we can come out of that shell. Um, so it does make sense to come back out on the exhale instead of the inhale, even though inhaling is when we do expand our belly. Um, so you can go into and out of your shell a couple of times, taking those deep belly breaths and you are ready to go. Have such a fantastic weekend, friends, and a fantastic Friday. Please join us in Stand and Say the Pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one in indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence.
Today is Farm Fresh Friday. And in the cafeteria today, they will be featuring grapefruit. And it's, of course, Texas grown. Grapefruits can be tasted very differently by different people. We have very individual taste receptors. It's a genetic trait. We are conducting a small experiment about the learner's taste perceptions in the lunchroom. So today, every learner is going to get a tiny sample of grapefruit and a sticker. As you leave the cafeteria, the ladies would like for you to put your sticker on one of the posters. There, the posters will be labeled sweet, salty, bitter. So you're going to put <clears throat> your sticker on one of those posters. You get to decide and we'll see what people think. Are grapefruits sweet or salty or bitter? I am respectful to others. I am responsible to myself. I am honest and kind. I will take initiative and persevere. Follow us. We are Lakeside Longhorns. Have a fabulous Friday. Hey, Chloe, did you know that the yearbooks are on sale now? No, I didn't, but I did know that the deadline is March 29th, so you better order them fast. That's true. They're $20 each, and you order them online. Huh. I'll be sure to check the newsletter to find the link. That's true. Get your yearbooks now on the PTO website.